sport that you would like to try in the future. So scuba diving must be the water sports that I really would like to try. But honestly, it wasn't until one of my friends told me that his favorite sport was scuba diving that I started to learn about this sport and, you know, to try it. Honestly speaking, uh, I've never thought about learning this, let alone trying it, you know. But compared with other water sports like skating, which I think is quite difficult, it, it has like a very high requirement for your core and maybe the ability to have balance your body. Um, so I guess scuba diving is more friendly to beginners and you could try it quite gently probably, I hope so. Um, so my plan is maybe this year during the winter vacation, I really would like to spend some time on an island city together with my friend and um, to stay beside the sea for like two to three weeks, I guess, to have a vacation. And at the same time, really would like to learn this kind of sport. Because it is said that as long as you get the certificate of scuba diving, um, then you could just enjoy it or do this activity all by yourself without having to be watched by others, right? So yeah, that was actually the plan. Hopefully everything would go as planned and I could have this opportunity to appreciate the beautiful sea creatures under the sea while I was scuba diving. Well, I would like to try scuba diving in the future. I am a big fan of marine creature and I always see people enjoy interacting with sea animals on the social media. So I'm really looking forward to having a try myself someday. Actually, I'm planning to try it this year when I'm traveling to Hainan Island, maybe in August. My best friend has already tried it and she strongly recommended me to do it as well. She even introduced her coach to me and she said uh, the coach was super friendly and professional so I would be in good hands. But actually I'm a little afraid of doing it because um, I'm not good at swimming and also when I was a child, once I fell into the lake and I got choked on water, so I was a little scared of water. But I really want to experience the amazing undersea world and I really want to see those uh, marine animals by myself. You know, like corals, sea turtles, uh, and even dolphins and whales. Those are things that I could never see in my daily life, right? So I'm really excited about interacting with them and then taking photos with them. Um, so before I go, I think I should practice my swimming skills more and also I want to buy some diving equipment, you know, like diving suit and diving goggles for sanitary reason. So I hope that everything will go well and I cannot wait to do it. Today we're going to describe a water sport that I would like to try in the future. We're going to talk about what the sport is, where you would like to try it, whether if it's difficult or not, and explain why you would like to try it. Alright, so the water sport that I would like to talk about is diving. I would really love to dive deep down in the ocean and take a good look at the ocean view underneath and maybe interact with some sea creatures if they're not poisonous or anything like that. But anyways, I would really love to try diving in maybe Malaysia because I heard that they have pretty good, like affordable and informative diving courses there. And a lot of my friends told me that Malaysia has really stunning tropical ocean. So I'm pretty sure that diving there would be really fun. Unfortunately, I've heard that diving is a lot more difficult than what a lot of people would imagine. You need to be mentally prepared first and foremost. You really cannot afford to panic when you're underwater. So you need to overcome all your fears of the water, of the creatures, of the plants, everything like that. On top of that, you need to equip yourself with a lot of ocean-related knowledge. For example, you need to know which kind of animals are friendly and okay to be with and what kind of animals are poisonous and you really need to stay away from. And not only that, you also need a lot of technical skills. 
For example, you need to know how to gear up and how to handle emergency situations. And most importantly, you need to learn a lot of these breathing techniques so that you could handle、uh, like the high water pressure underneath. But I'm not so sure since I've never really tried it before. I'm still very stoked about it regardless. And the reason behind it is that, well, first of all, I think it's a very popular sport. Almost all of my friends have tried it before, and I would really. Love to hop on the trend and give it a go myself. On top of that, I think it's a quite challenging sport. I would be really proud of myself if I could, you know, go through all the classes and overcome all my fears and do some diving all by myself. So yeah, and last but not least, it's quite obvious that it's gonna be a good time. I mean, I love to see animals, and it would be really cool if I could take a good look at them up close and interact with them in real life. So yeah, I would really want to try it in the future. To describe a water sport you like to try in the future. Without further ado, here we go. The water sport I like to try in the future is scuba diving. Actually, the reason why I'm interested in this is that my best friend Jenny traveled to Australia last time on vacation. She tried scuba diving there, and after she got back, she couldn't stop talking about it because she really liked that experience. So she encouraged me to give it a try myself. I checked out a couple of videos on YouTube about this water sport, and I think it seems awesome. Basically, one wears some special equipment and dives into waters to explore the underwater world. I suppose it will be a little bit hard for me because I've heard that usually it's after proper training and with the guidance from instructors that people do this activity. I already talked to my parents about our family trip next summer vacation, and we've decided to travel to Australia and try scuba diving together. I really look forward to it because I've only seen the underwater world on TV, so I'm genuinely curious about what it's like in real life. And I think it's going to be thrilling when I get close to those marine creatures. For instance, my friend told me that when she went scuba diving, many animals passed her by. She could see them up close, and it felt amazing. It's not just the cute little creatures, though. The scenery in the depths of the ocean is breathtaking. Scuba divers can feast their eyes on a wide range of colorful and gorgeous things, such as coral reefs, 